YouTube, it's X, Jazz and Mrs. X, and today I'm going to be doing another Rempy tutorial, and we're going to be creating an enable or disable swearing function. I personally found this out um, after doing a lot of research. I was able to make this code myself. Um, it might not be the most efficient, but I it works for me. Um, so let's get straight into it. Feel free to use this. You don't need to give me credit or anything. Um, however, if you do want to like give back, then please visit my website. Um, www.officialswitchdev.weebly.com Oops, because I am a game developer and I am working on a visual novel project and that you can find all the details on that over here. Um, I'm also going to be using RenP, so I'm going to leave that there. Okay, straight into it. I made, I've already made a new, um, a new file. So straight after the start label, I think it can actually be anywhere, we are going to make a menu function. Menu functions in Rempy just start as this. And we're not going to go straight into doing um, the names of the buttons because there is a way to display an instruction. So here we're going to say um, it's going to be an instruction and it's going to be displayed where text usually goes, you know, narration at the bottom. It will say this there. And we're going to say click to choose um, to to choose to enable or disable swearing. Um, and now we're going to move on to the next time we're going to create the button. So firstly, let's choose disable swearing. And then we're going to do a semicolon. Now, this is how you create a button. You use um, you create the button name within um, within speech marks and then do this colon straight afterwards. This is kind of like defining a function and saying, oh, um, click this button to perform this action. Therefore, we need the semicolon to actually say what the action should be. So once the button has been clicked, we need to set some variables. Now, for those of you familiar with other programming languages, in JavaScript, to define a variable, you need to use the var, okay? And in Python, I think if I'm correct, you use def equals, yeah? Yeah, actually, you don't have the equals for that. Um, don't, don't take me on my word for Python. I haven't used it in so long. Um, however, in Rempy, we use a dollar sign. This dollar sign is, now we need to assign certain words with variable names so that we can access them later. If you don't understand that just yet, just stay tuned and I will explain it. Firstly, we're going to actually think of the words that we're going to need to use and their, um, you know, alternatives. So for disabled swearing, we're going to use heck, shiz and fudge. It's pretty self-explanatory and pretty clear to know what the, um, you know, other versions of this are. Uh, I'm not going to say I will write them down or type them down. Okay, um, so for disable swearing we need to make our variable and we're going to use this. So variable, let's call it h because that's how we're going to refer to it later, equals heck. And we're saying heck, remember it needs to be within um, speech marks, we're saying heck because this is what happens when you disable swearing. You do not want swearing to be seen. Uh, let's just um, do the rest. Variable s is equal to shiz. And variable f let's say, oops, is equal to fudge. Now, of course, you can add some more words. You, you don't have to use these words. But that's what I'm using right now for this tutorial. And then we're going to go on to enable swearing and do the same thing, however, just give it, remember your, your colon, however, just um, doing the alternatives. So variable h is equal to hell, variable s is equal to that, and variable f is equal to that. Now, basically, what we've done here is we've got the same variables However, depending on which um, 
button you choose, their value changes. Therefore, when you reference them, depending on what button you choose, the computer will memorize um, the values of the variables and then um, bring back the value that you asked for. Okay, now, if that's kind of hard to understand, um, we're going to see it in action right now because we've just finished this menu. Now, I think is, do you need to you don't need to do anything to close the menu, right? Okay, I think that's it. Yes. Okay, so this is basically a function, I suppose. Now we are going to test it. So let's do some narration, um, just normal narration. Hello, world. Chicken is delicious. However, sometimes it tastes like variable s. Okay. Let me move this. Okay. Um, now, it took me a long time to figure out how this works, but basically, to embed um, in Python, you use. Um, when you have text strings of text, you have your words, and then you have a plus, and then you have another word, or um, or you have a plus, and then you have a variable name. In JavaScript, I think you have text, um, comma, variable name, comma, uh, text, whatever depends on what you're doing. Now, um, in friggin' Rempy, it took me so long, but basically to embed it, you have your text, and then still within the speech marks, you have these square brackets, and then you put variable name, and then end square brackets, you know, text if you have it, and then close text. Uh, this is kind of, it was really, took a really long time for me to find out. Okay, anyway, let's try this. I feel like I've finished the menu. I feel like I haven't at the same time. Anyway, let's try. Whoa, whoa, I messed up here. Yeah, sorry guys, messed up there. All right, save. Whew. Tutorials. Launch project. Waiting. And still waiting. Give me a second, my computer hates me. Oh wow, great. <sighs> Alright, so so far so good, otherwise some sort of error message may come up. Start game. So now we've got the two options, as I said, um, here is the instruction that we said here. Click to choose to enable swearing. These are two options. Uh, we're going to test swearing by enabling it. Um, and it's got our string and then embedded where the brackets were. It's got the variable s, which was assigned that. Likewise, if we go back and start the game and choose to disable swearing, it has shiz because that is the value that has been assigned over here to um, variable s. Okay, so that worked first time. Great, fantastic. That's great. Um, so thank you guys for watching, um, and I hope that you came away with something. Please don't forget to visit my website that I'm typing up again. I know I literally just, um, you know, took it off, but do not forget, and thank you very much for watching. I will put a link to my website in the description, and tell me whether this helped you, whether you have any questions, and anything else you would like to see from me in the future. All right, bye guys.